Uh, and I was going to take us in a certain direction. Ryan Dawes has done something similar here because I think the concern of Ohio State fans is that there are multiple concerns. It's not like if we fix that, everything's going to be fine. It's, well, that, that, and we don't know about that. Ryan says here, does one side of the ball need to have a more complete game against Western Kentucky in order to alleviate some fears prior to facing the fighting Irish? Obviously, it would be fantastic if both could have great games. <clears throat> Yeah, um, I could make an argument on both sides because if 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 Ohio State's defense comes out and completely stymies Western Kentucky, then people will be feeling really good about the defense and maybe some of the immediacy and the concerns on the offense will not be there because, of course, there, I mean, there are a lot of people that are concerned about Notre Dame that maybe weren't just, you know, a couple few weeks ago. But uh, if if the defense goes out and shuts down Western Kentucky, I think that carries more water than Ohio state's offense going out and laying, laying the smackdown on Western Kentucky. Cause you're still going to have people who are going to say, well, yeah, but it was just Western Kentucky. It's a, you know, it, it's a team that was down, you know, down much of the first half against USF and didn't necessarily really put away Houston Christian the way that it should have. And you know, what, what does this mean for the Ohio State defense? So I kind of talked myself into into the argument right there that I think that maybe the defense coming out and really having a dominant game against Western Kentucky would be more impactful for the people who are the most vocal with their concerns going into Notre Dame just because of the sheer fact of, hey, now we know we've got something on this defense. We know that it can shut down, it can shut down Indiana's triple option. It can shut down whatever it was Youngstown State did, and it was able to shut down an obvious uh, strong passing game with with Austin Reed and in the air raid at uh, at Western Kentucky. I would say um, Kevin convinced me because I was thinking it wouldn't be bad to see Ohio State's running game get going. I think we people we needed to see the passing game get going against Youngstown State because it struggled the week before. So they did that. They focused on that. I think getting the running game going this week would be uh, just a, a step in the right direction. But again, it, what does it mean when you're going from Western Kentucky's defense to Notre Dame's defense? Probably not a lot. And if they run for 250 yards in this one, that doesn't mean I think they're going to run for 175 against Notre Dame. I I won't have much of a say, much of a, an opinion change on how they're going to run against Notre Dame until I see it in action in the first quarter. So I would agree. It would mean more to see them do something defensively against Western Kentucky's offense because they have not faced any kind of passing attack yet. So uh, let's see how they handle that, how they handle being spread out, how they handle the tempo and just being attacked and what they do with Sonny Styles, who plays against – uh, who plays in, on first down and doesn't play on passing downs. And so does that take him off the field almost entirely in this game? So I want to see how they handle all that. And I, I think uh, long answer, short, short answer, long. I agree with Kevin. <laughs> 